Welcome back guys, I'm Connor. I'm gonna be showing you how to take an eight bar loop and expand it into a full track or something close to one. So I'm gonna play the eight bar loop that I've got here. This is mostly just dry loops from Loop Cloud Sounds and with their bass line that I played in using a very basic patch on Wave OSC. So let's have a listen. So those are our eight bars. Um, before we get started, I'm just gonna show you um, the few little bits of processing that I've done. So on the keys loop, all I've done is EQ out some of the lows and I've put an auto filter on there, but uh, that's to automate later, which I'll show you. On the synth stab, I've taken all the lows out using EQ and I've put comeback kit on for a bit of delay. Again, not too much processing going on there. For the vocal. Emotions going around, sweet I've used Lifeline Console with this uh, backing glue preset and a little bit of EQ again to take the lows out. I've also sent it to a bus to, basically there's a, a reverb bus for the whole track and I've sent a few things to it to put everything in the same space. Finally, we have this sub, this sub bass. That's just a really basic uh, patch inside Wave OSC, and I've put it through Shape Mod to give it that uh, pumping side chained feel. So now you've seen the eight bar loop that I started with, let's start going into the arrangement of the track. So this is the intro for the track. So you'll hear that I'm using the keys and the drums straight off the bat, but what I've done is used a low pass filter and automated the cutoff to give it that kind of building in effect. And it sounds quite nice and mellow to begin with. So that's just using the cutoff of the auto filter on the keys channel. And I'm doing the same thing with the drums as well. What I've also done here is something that I do quite regularly. I've used a uh, down sweep effect that I found on Loop Cloud Sounds, and I've put that at the start of pretty much every eight bar section, just to give it a feeling of transience and uh, also to fill out the mix a bit with some ear candy effectively. So you can hear that that down sweep is quite quiet in the mix. However, with a little bit more time, I would usually combine a bunch of different effects super quiet in the mix, just to fill everything out in a really subtle way, but it makes a really noticeable difference when you get to the end of the track. Finally, I've just added a vinyl texture crackle. Again, found this on Loop Cloud Sounds. It's quite quiet in the mix. But this is to give it some of that lo-fi feeling, very common in a lot of that sort of lo-fi house sound. So moving on to the next eight bars, this is where I bring in the drum loop in full and uh, take the filtering off of a lot of things. So you'll hear that I'm using um, little slices from that full vocal loop. Uh, so instead of just bringing it in quite early on in the track, I'm kind of teasing it with small little chops. So you'll hear that's cut from the bit where she says going around. And this one is just another slice out of one of the sentences. So I'm combining two of those little chops for a bit of variation and I'm also using the same filtering trick as before, just low pass filter and automating the cutoff to open up and let more of the sound through. Another thing I'm introducing in this small section are these pads. 
So they start out basically inaudible due to the filter. Uh, again, same technique. I basically just listened to what the keys were playing and drew in the MIDI to uh, get what the pads are now playing. I just listened to what the top note was and what the root note was of those key chords and then just kind of copied it, figured it out, and then you get something like this. So that helps to fill out the mix a bit and adds a little bit of mystery and intrigue, I find. It's a yeah, good technique to use pads in your intro if you can. Finally, I just introduced the synth stab. So that comes in eight bars before the breakdown. Now we move on to the breakdown, um, pretty simple. I just chopped all the drums out and leave it just with the pads, that nice atmospheric sound. Then I introduced the full vocal here and uh, you'll hear I also use some risers as well to start building into our drop. So let's have a listen. Emotions going around, sweet release. I'm high, my soul is bound, sweet release. My love is this very sound and I'm like, so before I uh, let you hear the drop let me just quickly explain what's going on here so these two riser sounds are basically I searched in loop cloud sounds for Tech House snare risers, I think was what I looked for. And I found two that I liked, I couldn't decide between them. So I decided to layer them both, have them both slightly more quiet in the mix to complement each other. So you can hear them combined here. Also to complement those, I have just a white noise riser too also from Loop Cloud Sounds. And I've allowed those to build up. Instead of building straight into the drop, um, I heard a little bit of the vocal that I quite liked, and I thought I'd let that play sort of solo to play isolated just before the, the drums come in. So let's just have a listen and let the drop roll out. So you can hear there that I've reintroduced the drums, uh, also the bass line now comes in, and I've gone back to using those vocal chops from before. So um, yeah, just to, just to give it a bit of variation in the arrangement, I didn't want the full vocal, vocal to play straight over the drop, so I uh, reverted back to the vocal chops again. And then on this uh, eighth bar of the drop, I introduced some shakers. <laughs> So that just adds uh, another layer and a bit more rhythmic interest to the drum section. In the, uh, in the next section, basically the main switch here is that I revert back to using the full vocal. However, there's also some extra percussion elements that just help drive the rhythm again and give the ear a bit of a, a bit of a variation, a bit of a change, something to keep the element sounding a bit fresh. So you can hear those pads creeping back in as well. So these um, pads are made in Wave OSC, 
and I used the shape mod technique to get them to have that pumping feel as well. So what I've done is when the pads uh, start playing, the filter is completely shut off. You can't hear them at all, but they creep in nicely around the eighth bar where it starts becoming more audible. Every eight bars, uh, especially in house music, you kind of want to be introducing something of interest, even if it's subtle, just to keep people listening and yeah, keep, keep some interest. <laughs> So for the start of the breakdown, all I've done is effectively it's a copy of what happened in the uh, build up to the first drop. However, there's no full vocal. And what I've actually done is keep the bass playing with the pads. The bass is being automated. So the volume of the bass uh, is being automated down throughout the breakdown. And so that's just to make it so when it drops again, there will be a surprise factor when the bass comes back in. So it's nice and subtle. I feel like using a bass in a breakdown really fills it out and makes it feel distinctive from the build-up. Then automating the gain down, it, you can then bring it back up for another moment of, uh, of surprise and sort of released suspense when the bass does come back in on the drop. So let's have a listen to the pre-drop section of the breakdown here. Um, and you'll hear similar things from the build-up again, but I've, um, I've kind of varied up the vocal chops as well. So you'll hear that. So there we have it. There's a rough breakdown of how I might take the elements from an eight bar loop and turn them into a full track. Of course, I've hardly actually really used any tracks here. There's plenty of space for more effects. There's plenty of space for new instrument types, anything you want to experiment with. But this is just a way of showing you, you know, with a few fairly simple techniques, how to take a relatively small amount of sounds and flesh them out over the course of a whole arrangement. So I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something and have fun.